Hello and welcome to another support video of Nexus Teams. In this video I will explain how you can solve an issue that could occur if you're using the logo widget in combination with absolute positioning. At the moment you have enabled absolute positioning this will cause the logo itself not to be contained inside a particular row but it will float on top of it and this could cause in, in some cases could cause troubles at the moment you try to edit the site. In the site I'm showing you here, this is the case. So let me turn on the editor and you can see if I'm hovering with my mouse over the logo because maybe I want to change some properties of the logo, it will not allow me to do so simply because of this absolute positioning. Right now the row that contains the menu is a different row than the one that contains the logo but the, the one that is defined afterwards, so that's the, the menu, simply is on top of the, other uh, of the other row which contains the, the logo. So the way how you can solve it is, uh, is the, the steps that I will show you here. The first thing you will have to do is to of course log in to the environment and to go that particular page that has this issue and afterwards temporarily disable the editor by pressing the escape key or pausing the editor using the icon here at the top. I will uh, press the escape key and you can see the editor is now disabled. And uh, the, the next thing we can do is to hover over the logo. So I'm hovering here above these little, uh, this little image here of these, uh, of these horses and a right mouse click and then selecting inspect from the pop-up menu. At the moment you have the, uh, clicked on that particular item, you can see the system highlights the image and somewhere around this place, it's always a little bit more uh, to the top, you can see that there is a particular uh, piece of HTML, in this case it's an anchor, and the anchor has the class called NXS-Absolute. And this is the class that is causing uh, the absolute positioning, so uh, in, in one way this is what you wanted to accomplish, because that was uh, how it was configured, but uh, we need to temporarily tune the HTML of this page to solve this problem, to not have it be absolute positions. And you can do two things, you can either go to the right side and uh, disable the item here. So let me do that by checking this box. It's currently checked because this item is absolutely uh, absolute positions. So let me uh, remove this one here. Uh, and because of the fact that we uncheck this box, you can see this one now uh, prevails. So we also need to uncheck this one here. And as you can see at the moment I unchecked this box, the page now uh, suddenly looks different. Uh, let me close the pop-up of the developer tools. And you can see it now aligns properly here. And if we now uh, turn the editor back on again, simply by again pressing the escape key, or pressing the play button here at, uh, at the top, you will be able to hover with your mouse now over this row, which no longer is absolutely uh, absolute positioned. And we can now access the properties here by clicking on the logo uh, icon on the top right. Once we are here, we can uh, change the absolute positioning and say, uh, simply remove the properties here and after you have wiped the values here from the top and the left it will no longer position itself in an absolute kind of way. Alright, I hope this was helpful. I hope by now you've learned how you can uh, resolve the issue by temporarily modifying the, the DOM, the HTML, the document object model of that particular page uh, which would allow you to change the properties of the logo afterwards. If you have any more questions about uh, solving this issue or if you have any questions about other features of our themes, please do let us know because we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.